cryogenic temperatures of several hundred degrees below zero. And if you followed along with our got previous- those 33 much larger Raptor engines, this, this great view of the launch. It's a little, that is very different from Falcon. I'm sure people have watched our launches and then we get- Sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes the winds dip just enough where you can launch them. Really QD event game past the 40 second hold. Go for launch. Flight director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch. So 20 seconds to go. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Starship, it's the biggest, most powerful. Of uh, the biggest rocket ever. The most powerful rocket ever built. About three minutes into its ascent, we're gonna expect to see Super Heavy separate from the Starship. It'll perform a flip maneuver, and then it'll execute a boost back burn, and we're gonna be targeting a hard landing in the Gulf of Mexico. And while that's happening, we hope to see Starship's six second stage engines ignite and watch as Starship coasts for about an hour. Onboard view from Starship. on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf.
It was obviously a massive upgrade to the launch pad. So we've got like a mini Niagara Falls here. The water pressure is so much that if it went straight up, it would actually destroy the rocket. That's how much water pressure it is.
thing on Corpus Christi. Continuing to get good call outs. Our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal, systems looking nominal. Just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again. At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic. So we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras, carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're you can see the grid fins are rotating. So three in the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. At that point, ship will, or I'm sorry, it actually it already has. Um, ship engine cut off. There we go. <laughs> so we're back here at T plus 40 minutes. Pez door is opening. And there we just heard call it that Pez door is opening. So that's great. First test. Yeah. <laughs> We can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, yeah, now this was one of the critical... But you want the vehicle to remain stable. You want those heat shield tiles pointed down.